Hey guys. Oh my god. This is like my fifth time recording this. People were calling me. People were like coming in the room. Dogs were barking. Like. <sighs> so. <laughs> Hello. Um, this is basically going to be my introduction um, to YouTube. This will be my first video I post. Um, so, hello, <laughs> everybody. Um, my name is Marsha, and basically I'm going to be coming with um, beauty videos, um, reviews mainly when it comes to beauty products. Um, I'll be doing outfits of the days, um, hauls like crazy, mainly like clothes and like... Um, stuff like that, but makeup too, and facial products, things like that. Um, that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> so definitely give me your feedback. I want to hear. I definitely want to like improve and like do anything that I need to do to make my videos as the best they could be. So um, definitely leave me comments on and stuff like that. And subscribe, of course. <laughs> but to, I thought what... Um, better video to record for my first video than um, a monthly favorite. So I'm going to hop right into that to make it, I just wanted to make this short. I didn't want to make it that long, but I'm going to hop right in to my monthly favorites for January. So let's go. The first product I have is, um, and mainly all of this is um, makeup. So um, the first product I have is, I'm going to show you foundations first. But I've been, oh, dude, wow, I forgot about that. Hmm. <laughs> I did some swatches before, and I was like, and they're like kind of all over the place. But, um, so this is a concealer from MAC, and it's called the Select Cover Up. And I've been using this as, um, as, and this, the shade is NW44. I don't know if you'll be able to see that but um I've been using this as a foundation because the story on it is I basically went to Mac with my best friend we were buying some things and um I picked this up not even like testing it out like that I did a little bit I swatched it but it wasn't um light enough to be a concealer and like kind of highlight like I want my concealer to kind of be able to highlight and a concealer at the same time I don't like to put like too much highlight but so I just um I was using it as a um foundation and it was summertime and I was a little darker then so it worked out perfectly and I I've been going to it all month long and I just what I do is I'll just you still use it as a foundation and I just brighten up my under eyes with concealer and I'll just go a little lighter on the concealer and the inside of my face just to make it you know all match with my skin but I think it works great and I also wanted to use it up because I want to go get a um, foundation from MAC in this color because this obviously is my color um, as far as foundation is concerned. This is um, the Graftobian palette and I got this um, I got this from iMats and the the shade is the warm number three palette and the colors are like this sorry about the glare yeah colors are like that and you see the two I mainly use the ones that I hit pan on um, but this is a really good palette I got this at iMats not this new iMats that just happened but the iMats LA um, in June I think it was of 2012 um, and I got this, I picked this up there, I've seen some beauty gurus talking about it, and so I decided to pick it up, and it works great. It's like a, um, it's a very kind of a, a light foundation, it's not heavy at all, but it is buildable, so I think it's like a light to medium coverage, but you can build it up to a, a pretty full coverage, I think, but you don't need a lot of this, a little goes a long way, I've had it since June, and it's great. The next thing I got from iMats in June um, last year, and been have have been this is like my holy grail, and I know everyone knows about it, but this is the 
Benai powder. And this isn't the banana powder, but this is, um, the shade is olive sand. And the lady recommended this to me when I walked up to the booth at IMATS. And so I went with it. And it works great for under eyes, for um, your to set your face. Um, I even wore in the summer what I did is because in the summer the foundation's a lot for me. So um, what I did was wear to wear that by itself. And I would put a little concealer under my eyes, but I would wear that by itself and it gave like the perfect finish. So if you guys have this in your actual like shade that kind of works for you, you can use it as a um, foundation and it looks really, really nice in the summer. And gives you a real good, nice glow too. Another thing I picked up from MAC when I picked up that concealer and I just picked everything up, we were just throwing things around. So we were just testing things out basically. <laughs> um... And this is called Prep and Prime Skin Smoother Base. So this is like a primer for your face. And let's see if you'll be able to see like the kind of consist. It's like a wax consistency. And um, I've been using it like crazy. It's really, really good. And at first I didn't really like it. I thought that it was leaving my skin. It was going to leave my skin oily. But when I wear it, oh my gosh, and even wearing this by itself will mattify your face throughout the day if you don't wear makeup even. So, like, if you wake up in the morning, you wash your face, and just naturally you get really oily and you don't even wear makeup, you can just put this on and it'll, put, it'll mattify your face really nice. And so you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff, whether you make wear makeup or not. But it's a great um, base or dropped you guys sorry I am recording on my iPhone <laughs> and I totally dropped you guys I'm sorry um the next thing is my Lorac behind the scenes eye primer and this is what I've been using for my primer all month and my best friend bought this for me from Sephora thank you Janae <laughs> um so this is um this is really cool it comes out like creamy consistency it's like a um you know like a skin toned um primer and it works really great i like it i used it today i always use it though <laughs> but yeah i've been using it like crazy all month and um the next thing is this brush and this is the samantha chapman real techniques brush that's what it looks like and i've um used it today sorry that it's dirty i haven't cleaned it yet but that's what it looks like, and um, yeah, I like it. I use it for my foundation. I'll use it with that banana powder. Um, it's pretty much my go-to brush. I'm pretty much going to use it every day. Okay, and the next two things, these are the last two actual makeup products, and they're lipsticks, and they're like my go-to lipsticks, and I kind of smudged this off, so I'm going to do the swatches again. Actually, you can kind of see them, but I'll do it again for you. The first one is a Wet n' Wild, like, matte. I don't know the, I forget the name of the, um, the actual line of lipsticks that this is from the Wet n' Wild, but it says at the bottom 908C, and it's like a deep berry tone, like that. And I swatched it, but it kind of rubbed off, so I'm going to swatch it again and give you guys a good whiff of it. And that's it. This one right here. And it's really, really nice. This is the first color that I bought that was, like, dark like this. Like, I didn't think that, like, dark lipstick would work like that for me in my shade. But I just really love it. So now I want to try, like, every dark tone. Like, I want to get a dark, deep red. I want to get, like, these, like, a you know, like a blood red. Um, so now I want to just try all the deep colors now because I did, but I've been wearing this all Christmas, um, a lot of this month, um, but this other one I'm going to show you I've been wearing, I'm wearing right now and I've been wearing, you know, for about a week and this one, but I've been wearing this like relentlessly since November, but it's definitely one of my favorites. The next one is a NYX. I am so sorry about that person outside. So anyways, the next one is a NYX, and this is their, oops, this is their matte lipsticks, and that's the shade on my hand, and it looks kind of different because it's on my lips right now. 
I don't know. And I kind of pat, I kind of um, blotted it with the tissue. But that's what I did. So that's that. And the last thing is a actually not a beauty product. This is a um, toner, and this is from Lush, and this is the Tea Tree um, Water Toner. And this is a 100 gram bottle, and this stuff is wonderful. Um, I'm going to do a Lush haul probably soon, like maybe tomorrow, like, and I'll post it up. But I got this, and I've probably been using it for about three weeks. And, like, let me tell you, in that video, like, because I've already recorded it, um, in that video, oh, my gosh. This is just, it's, I told you that it replaced my, my um, Max Fix Plus. Like, that's how good it is. And I like it, and it's really good for your skin. And if you don't know what Lush is, it's a um, handmade, it's called, it's handmade cosmetics. And they make everything um, by hand, I guess. And so their products are pretty natural, like, pretty on the natural side. So um, it's a really, really good brand. So I definitely think you should check tea tree water and they have a couple other toners I haven't tried yet but definitely check Lush out that concludes my haul um thanks for watching and I'm sorry about dropping you guys <laughs> but um I would appreciate it if you guys um subscribed um left me comments what you want to see from me um anything just go ahead and leave it on down there but again, thanks for watching and bye.